Tonight, we tell you the story of Reverend Dr. Katie Geneva Gannon, the first black woman in the United States to be ordained as a minister in the Presbyterian Church. 8 News reporter Delaney Hall sat down with her colleagues to learn more about her legacy. Known as a trailblazer in theology, Reverend Dr. Katie Geneva Cannon will always be remembered for empowering African American women. Her studies eventually taking her right here to Union Presbyterian Seminary. A tranquil morning at Union Presbyterian Seminary on Richmond's north side. But inside, a celebration. She was immediately one who sparked laughter. For Reverend Dr. Katie Geneva Cannon, seen here teaching back in 2018. And you felt a magnet. You were drawn to her. Born in North Carolina in 1950, Cannon came from humble beginnings. She grew up in a family of United Presbyterians, and like her colleague Dr. Paula Parker will tell you, she knew her passion was teaching. One of her favorite sayings was, I'm going to give you the best I have so you can be better. And that was something her, her teachers taught her when she was little. And that was very much what she was all about. After completing her PhD, she was called to a higher purpose and became the first African American woman in the country to be ordained as a minister in the Presbyterian Church. Something President Brian Blunt says redefined what it meant for black women in the faith community. For her, I don't think, you know, groundbreaking was important, but it wasn't important because of something that was about her, but it was about people around her, how she could blaze a path. That path eventually bringing her here to Richmond, where she became a professor of Christian ethics and pioneered a new branch of faith called womanist theology. She broke certainly new ground to um, reimagine and to bring into conversation black women into the field of Christian ethics and theology. Her main line of work, attracting students from across the globe. Do the work your soul must have, is what she would say. Her legacy now lies here at the Katie Geneva Cannon Center for Womenist Leadership on Union's campus, a center Cannon officially launched in 2018, just a few months before she died. Today, it combines her passion for leadership and empowerment. She opened her presence and her, her hospitality, I think, has been, that spirit has been transferred to the center so that we try to make space for women, black, especially black women and their dreams. We understand that not only when black women lead, things change, but also that they need spaces to re-energize, to uh, heal. Healing, like in the form of Cannon's artwork. Her doodles, like these, now plastered on books, shirts, and buttons, are a constant reminder of her groundbreaking work. It's a way of carrying her with me. Reminding me of innovation and creativity. To remember that her legacy lives on. I'm going to give you the best I got, and I want you to be better. In Richmond, Delaney Hall, 8 News.